<laughs> Let's get in the eddy behind him. Yep, that's what we're doing. Yep. Oh, he wants more.
Yeah, no. I know, right? It's so good. That's a pour over ledge. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
too middle. <laughs> Plus, I just found out I'm dyslexic. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even realize I went the wrong way. recording it. Oh gosh. Is there a downside to like just naturally all the people go to the bro? No. Well, it's more of an advantage. For teaching beginners, it is. We haven't introduced the bound bro yet, so. Um, so long as you're doing it first. Yeah. So, fun games to play with your students. Jousting, chicken, you know, pointing them in different directions. It gets them like using their boat in a like in real time, right? 
right? They're not thinking like, oh, rotation, catch, pull, really. They're just thinking like, ah, uh, go left. <laughs> and I personally, I think you would probably agree with this. I encourage you to use games, especially with adults. Adults sign up for a kayaking lesson. Some people really want to be analytical about it. But adults sign up for a kayaking lesson. Like, adults like to have fun too. Sometimes they just feel more. Is everyone here right hand dominant? Hmm? Anybody left hand? Yeah. Yeah, Everybody throws the right with their right hand. Rotation. Head. Plan for success. Last piece. Preparation. Preparation. Prepare for swims. Okay. So draw strokes are when we draw the blade and the boat together. Together. So there is a hip draw, which I'm gonna demo now. The hip draw, the purpose of it is to move the boat sideways. sideways. Or, uh, fuck, what's that word? Y'all? Diagonally. A beam. A beam. A beam. To move a beam. Oh! I like it. Damn it, that was in the ACA thing. Alright, so posture. Good posture. I'm gonna rotate. You'll hear this phrase a lot in ACA stuff. I'm gonna face my work. I'm gonna leave flexion. Alright, um, so I'm gonna rotate. I'm looking where I want to go. Is a draw stroke a pulling stroke or a turning stroke? Both. Side draw. It's both, because you're moving about. This is a higher level question just for you guys. I wouldn't ask you. What's that? It's propulsion. Propulsion, right? So what kind of shaft angle do I want? Vertical. Vertical. Very good, very good. So, foster rotation. Okay. We're going to do me and Mita filming rolls as well. And the rolls, I want to see demonstration quality slow motion rolls as if you were demoing for a beginner student. I want to see a C to C, a sweep, and then player's choice. Uh, I was just going to do the sweep on this one. Oh, thank you. C to C. I lost my contact, so I'm doing it blind. I'm going to do uh, another sweep, I'm going to do it slower, and I might finish it off with a crunch. Okay. Alright. My brain hurts.
five boat links. Three to five boat links self-dispatching, okay? What do I normally do with my hands? It's on what we would call river right. That riverbank is on what we would call river left. We identify these things as if we were looking downstream. So for beginner students, I'm going to say river right, river left. So if I tell you to go right, I always mean this side of the river. If I tell you to go left, I always mean that side of the river. Where? water coming from? Upstream. Upstream. Where is the water going? Downstream. Downstream. There you go. I also like to identify modes of travel. Our mode of travel today is what I like to call stay in play. So we're going to move from one playground to another and at each playground we're going to stay and play for a little while. If time starts to eat up on us, I might change our mode of travel to what I call play on the way. On the way downstream, we're going to find little play spots, but we may not stay there forever. If time really is pushing on us and we're trying to train for some race or something, we're going to be team downstream. We're just going to move down the road. This is my personal thing, it's not ACA, but I like to communicate to my students what mode travel that we're in so that they understand like what kind of headspace they should be in. So for the next good little while, we are a stay and play mindset. We're going to stay right here and play for a little bit before we move down to Calvell and play down there before we move to play and play. And play. <laughs> All right, can everyone hear me? Cool. I'm going to teach you guys how to do a sea turn. Lots of uses for this, but one way we navigate down river and see what's ahead of us is to do what? Grab an eddy. I'm going to start off by building speed and I'm going to approach the moving water that's moving downstream. I'm going to take an outside sweep, okay? And I'm going to lean into it. It's going to turn my bow downstream. Let that happen. When that happens, you're going to start paddling. I'm going to take another outside sweep. That's going to break the eddy line and I'm going to paddle back into the eddy. Okay, everyone heard me? Cool. This is where I'm gonna do another outside sweep and then paddle into the eddy.
There's nothing I can improve on? Uh, there's always something we can improve on, but like that was good. You know? Um, if you were really putting it, um, I would say like, you could add, after, like let's say that's your introductory lesson, you let everybody do it a couple of times. And you say, okay folks, now we're gonna build on the knowledge that we have. We're gonna start using our vision and our chest to anticipate what our future water wants to do with our boat when we interface with it. So when I interface with that future water, what does the water want to do with my boat? Turn it. Turn it downstream, right? So what should I do with my body before that happens? Lean downstream. What happens to my boat when I turn my body? It automatically leans. And guess what? If I'm looking the right way, it's leaning the right way. It's <laughs> fantastic. see why in a second too. Sorry Trish. Alright class, on the last move, who can answer what stroke I took to make my entrance into the uh, rapid? Anyone? It was a sweep, right? On my outside? We're not doing that this time. This time we're going to take a vertical stroke so we can get further up into the rapid. Everyone understand that? One of the benefits of doing this, let's say we're in the eddy. There's a hazard. There's a rock. We have to get around it. How are you gonna do it? You gotta get back up in the feature further, okay? Vertical stroke in. We're gonna carry a couple of more vertical strokes on our inside. Why? Because we need more momentum up into the feature, right? Once we're far enough in and we feel comfortable, we can either lean to initiate the turn, right? Or we can do what? What was the sweep we took on the first one? sweep we took on the first one. What was the stroke we took on the first one? Sweep. Thank you, Austin. We're going to do that to turn us if we don't want to lean. If you don't feel comfortable putting that edge down, take the sweep. Okay? Watch me, guys. Oh, no, don't watch me. All right, now watch me. Fucked it up. <sighs> I fell apart on that one. Totally fell apart on that one. Huh? I didn't do the best job of explaining what I wanted them to do differently. On top of that, I put in a bow draw to turn instead of either leaning or taking an outside sweep. And then I completely stopped communicating once I got out there. <laughs> that doesn't really count. <laughs> There's a lot I could have done differently on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was cussing myself out. I was like, dude, you just failed this one. No, um, I would not uh, describe it as like a fail miserably. Um, I like that you call this a vertical stroke. I invite you to use forward stroke. Four. Right? I think it's cool to emphasize that a forward stroke is a vertical stroke, but it's, you know, just, I'm not telling you don't call it vertical stroke, also call it forward. Call it a forward and then like maybe emphasize that it's vertical. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then um, don't give people choice. Okay. So you can use your head or you can use the feet. Tell them what you want them to do. Okay. Especially when they're first starting out. They don't get choice. They they'll surprise you with their choice. <laughs> <laughs> but if you give them choices, then 
they can be like, oh, well, I was trying to do the other thing. Oh, okay. So give them feedback. Yeah. So if you give them one thing to do, you can give them feedback on the one thing that they did, whether they did it or not. Okay. We don't give choices to ladies. That's, that's my little thing. I like penetrate into the current, use torso rotation and vision to turn slow down the Like I gotta let everyone go first because when I get in there, I'm gonna style this for like a minute. Yeah, baby! Oh. Who next? Are you next for me? Huh? Are you next for me? Are you next for me? Oh, oh, Chadley! But I wish I had my rock star or my I, antics. I wish I had my logo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, wow, wow. Wow, I went from being freezing cold yesterday to sweating today. I'm sweating. Like 100%. Trey's like, all right, let me show you Peter's how it's done. <laughs> I live in this oh, honor! Oh, I thought he brought it back in. That was sick. Yes, sir! <laughs> What's crazy is it like doesn't want to hold as much as you think it would. Are you good? No. What, what hurts? Talk Here, here, here. Let me get you out. You stay there, I'll get you out. It's not out. <laughs> Support your own arm. I'm going to pull you up. Support your arm. Keep it in the defensive position. Get your legs where you're ready to get out. I'm gonna pull you up, okay? Okay, take the ukulele bag out. Right, take the ukulele right, bag? Here, fucking go. Ah, stand, stand. Oh. Chill. You're good. 